Welcome to 10 Minutes with Tony Scott. Today's show is brought to you by Shock Doctor. Shock Doctor is a local Minnesota manufacturer of protective and performance sports equipment. Its products are trusted by athletes from youth to amateur and professional. Shock Doctor, hardcore protection, fearless performance. Shock Doctor is the sponsor of Now Rankings Computerized Formula and we share with all youth teams in Minnesota. Thank you Shock Doctor for your continued support of YHH. So many great stories came out of the first big weekend with just about every team in the state playing a chunk of games. Let's start with high school. Both Benilde and Hermantown are teams that are started off their seasons with a complete with a couple of tough tough games. The Red Knights beat Duluth East and Grand Rapids in successive nights and toss in a win at STMA and the Red Knights find themselves in the top 10 and a current number one in that tough section 6AA. Not related to games, but equally relevant to high school hockey, I wrote a story last week on Game On Minnesota called The Outsiders, a story that I'm really proud to have written. The Outsiders is about the St. Cloud Apollo's 16 seniors who could be playing the school's final games for a while. There are only 22 skaters in the whole school. The great part of the story is there are two other high schools in St. Cloud with full rosters. This ragtag band of brothers and great coach could be headed for their third state tourney in four years. I really enjoyed getting to know of these guys. Should be a fun team to watch this year. Speaking of band of brothers, you gotta love the Eden Prairie Bantams. They beat the number one rated Minnetonka Skippers on Sunday. 20, 20, 2019 now prospect Jack Jensen was the tournament MVP, netting a game-winning goal in OT versus Sibley in the semifinals, and then in the afternoon gets, the, gets a big goal to get them started in their championship game win. In other action, you gotta love the Prior Lake A team in Bantams. They came into the Rosemount tournament, likely fodder for some of the bigger teams like Rosemount, Egan, Tartan, and Spring Lake Park. They didn't care. They did enough to get into the final four and then laid in the weeds long enough and beat number one in single A, Spring Lake Park, to win the championship. Think about this for a second. Spring Lake Park beat Rosemount on Sunday in the semifinals, who also, who Rosemount, who beat Eden Prairie double A two weeks ago, who just beat number one Minnetonka. So any of you naysayers out there who think A teams don't measure up, Think again. Tonight on YHH, we will live stream our first of eight St. Paul Academy games this year. Game one may be the best of the eight. The Spartans host Matamidi in a matchup of two top five teams in Class A. Matamidi travels really well. The Drake is going to be packed and loud. Hockey fans are going to be in for a treat. Ryan Phelps and Minnesota hockey coaching legend Tom Satterdown will bring you the play-by-play -play and color commentary in this landmark event for both the school and YHH. Last week I picked against SPA, this week on their trip to Laverne, not picking against them this week. I say they'll beat both Matamidi and East Grand Forks and vault past IMAC rival Breck to number two in the YHH staff rankings next week. We mentioned some big win wins already, here are a couple more. Edina Squirty White scores three in the third period to beat Farmington in the Moundsview Tournament. How about Eden Prairie dialing up an upset of number one Edina and Pee Wee AA in their home tournament? Jake Casey had two goals. The big defenseman has really started to make waves in Pee Wee hockey circles. And finally, the Chaska Chan squirt B Gold. They were golden in the Park Cottage Grove tournament, beating Rosemont Blue in overtime to win that one. Featured now prospects. Our first now prospect is 2017 prospect Ryan Bischel. The junior goalie from Benilde had three wins last week, including a 34-save performance on Saturday in their win at Grand Rapids. Next is 2019 now prospect Jack Jensen, who we mentioned earlier. Jack was the MVP of the Bantam Elite League last summer and was our tournament MVP in, Eden in, e in the Eden Prairie Tournament last weekend. He earns these high marks for his skill and great determination. Our final now prospect is a rare breed. His name is Harmon Hank Sorensen from, from Wyzetta. If he didn't already have the nickname Hammer, I'd call him the full meal deal. Hank's the most exciting player I've seen in a long time. He's one part Tyler Nanny. He breaks the puck out with incredible eaves. He's one part spark plug. He provides his team with energy on every shift. And what's unfortunate, he's one part WWE wrestler. He gets way too caught up emotionally in the game sometimes, which makes him so fun to watch. You never know with Hammer what's going to happen next. Will he score, will he check, or will he have a meltdown? This week's Colorado Report is combined with our Tier 1. All eyes this week will be on Minnesota, as the number three ranked Colorado Thunderbirds travel to Faribault to take on undefeated number one Shattuck this weekend. YHH, YHH will be down there to take in a game or two. It will be our second look at both the Thunderbirds and Sabres. Now that we are in mid-season form, this weekend should be fun to watch. 
So many top players on one sheet of ice. The T-Birds feature the Sandoval twins, Brady Berlin and Killian Kieker Olsen up front. Shattuck is loaded bear too. Robert Master Simone, who just committed to Boston University, and Notre Dame's Grant Silinoff are a pair that hasn't been stopped yet this year. Invites for the Now Prospects Combine will be going out this week to top minor and major peewees in Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Illinois. The camp will be held this summer at the U of M and the Lumberyard. Just like last summer, the players will skate at Mariochi with Coach Patolini and his players, and then on over the weekend, play some three-on-three -three at the Lumberyard. Meet Thomas Vanek and get tested by the pros at the Lumberyard for their speed, shot, and strength. Last year was a blast for us and the kids. This week's Tommy Chicago's trivia is a tricky one. Name this current high school coach who played goalie at the University of Wisconsin Superior. I've heard from many of you, many good sources, he was a complete sieve. But anyway, as a coach, he's been way more successful, winning over 600 games as a high school hockey coach and baseball coach, leading his team to a state hockey title and a baseball third within the last 10 years. The first person to name him gets a $25 gift card at Tommy Chicago's in Medota Heights off Highway 110 and Dodd Road. Send an email to youthhockeyhub at gmail.com to win your prize. This week's Boom Roasted goes out to the, the brainiac who came up with the rule that parents or officials or photographers like me cannot go out on the ice to take pictures of championship teams. This is obviously a rule that uh, came about because one or two people have slipped and fallen and been hurt. 99.99% of the people don't slip and fall. Boom Roasted to the person who came up with this silly rule. Now for the thumbs up. You've heard of Southern hospitality. We got some great Northern hospitality this past weekend, traveling to Hermantown and Duluth. Met some great folks in both cities. It was a blast to meet them. Huge thumbs up to everyone up north who rolled out the red carpet for us. Should be a really fun weekend this weekend covering hockey here in Minnesota. We'll see you around the rink. Have a nice day.